guys welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be a very quickie quickie kind of a video where i'm going to show you guys how you can apply your hair extensions on uh so there's a little bit of a trick that you have to follow and that's it and you can be peaceful with your hair extensions all day long it doesn't pull your hair nothing happens to your hair and it's completely safe so Without wasting any time, I'll like, be using these st straight hair extensions. I got it from Amazon. I got it for like 40 AD. You can convert it into dollars. I don't know how much is it. It's very, very cheap as compared to other prices uh, and hair extensions available in the market. I'm sure there will be a difference in the quality. But as long as you're looking for a temporary solution just for going out, for outings, for the parties, you can always go for this one. These are like not very heavy, doesn't pull your hair much. The clips, I'm not, I'm not sure how long do the clips last, but for now they're good. I mean, for me, they're just good. They're strong enough to last for, for a couple of months, like three, four, five months. So this is how it looks. These are the clips over here. You just press them in like this in your hair and let's get started without wasting any time so i can show you guys how you can actually put them on so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a section from my hair from here because i like to put them on up here you can also take a section from here and put them a little bit low if you want more length but this is how i like it and this is how i feel comfortable as long as i'm not planning to like tie up my hair later on so this is the best place to put them on. I'm just gonna pin my hair up so that I can prepare the space for the extensions. So this is how the separation looks like. So as it has five clips over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my teasing comb, which I cannot find. So I'm just gonna take little bit sections from here and I'm going to start doing a little bit of back combing. What happens with back combing is you create a pillow here for the extension clip to stay. And this is very, very useful and helpful because if you don't create the pillow, there is a possibility that the clips will start to pull your hair after a while and you start to have pain. So to avoid all those things, it's always better to pull your hair, to do a little bit of teasing in the ends and to use your hairspray so that it sprays as it is i'm doing this to show you guys i'm not going to do the spray to all other sections because i'm just going to be removing the extensions after a while so that's about it let me breathe okay so let's continue doing the sections i hope you guys can see because this is so crazy i just don't know how how i can film the video from behind because I do not have any assistant next to me who can tell me, okay, this is being filmed and this is not being filmed, etc. and etc. So it's a little bit, it gets a little bit tricky for me. Anyway, so I'm just making all the pillows with the back. I mean, you can see over here, this is how it looks. So it's like, you know, all the um, back combed, teased hair that create that kind of fuzz over here and then you can put your extensions inside them like just to secure your hair to not get pain later on oh god sometimes you can just get lost okay Like this side was not very comfortable for me. I just pulled it out and put it back inside because maybe there was a hair from above that was getting stuck over there. So all these things you will understand once you really start using them. And now all you can do is you can just remove your hair pins. Oh my God. Okay, something just got stuck. All right. All right so yes this is how it is and this is how it looks always make sure that you buy your own hair color of extensions because that's so much important otherwise you know what i mean <laughs> anyway so it's up to you you also have those um, colored hair extensions where you can just go for a little bit of ashy color and stuff like that but make sure that your hair is a little bit matching with that one 
uh, because that matters a lot and now you can see my hair from behind this is how it looks it's like completely fine i think from here it should be a little bit visible but that's completely okay that's why i told you that you can put from like double the section and put it over here but i prefer putting it over here and i don't mind if a little bit of this is visible as well because it's completely fine uh, so yes this is how my hair looks now after hair extension super healthy super heavy and uh plus the action extensions is not heavy at all it's completely like uh comfortable on my hair and like i don't know you can also find them on some other online websites but i preferred getting them get getting mine from like amazon because i found the prices really cheaper over there but again there's so many sellers on amazon so you really have to make sure that you read all the reviews before you actually get them so yes all these things have to be taken care of before you buy your hair extensions especially if you're buying for the first time that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you have any questions regarding hair extensions where to get it from how to get it from where else you can get it from apart from amazon you can write me down in the comment section i will suggest you some other places as well you can go and but as i said amazon has the cheapest prices when it comes to extensions cheapest to most expensive or expensive cheapest and the most expensive i think that's what it that's how i call it or uh, whatever so yeah they also have the most expensive ones and they also have the cheapest ones so plus as i said you have to read the reviews before you actually get them for yourself don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more madness like this.